Hey, hey, Starfish of Fire back with another hot sauce review. All right, so today we got three sauces. This is actually on my subscription. Um, I'm running a little behind, so this is actually January subscription, but bear with me. So this, these three sauces, all from different companies. I've tried sauces from these companies before, but not these particular. In fact, these sauces are all in the Season 17 of Hot Ones, and Heatness puts out the subscription that you can get. So we're going to go ahead and get started with... Dawson's Hot Sauce Cedar Smoked Garlic. Now, I have one of their sauces. I think I've had two, actually. The, the one I have currently, though, is a ghost pepper mash, and it's hot. Being a mash, it's just going to be vinegar, salt, and mashed up ghost. So it's really thick, but in small amounts, it's got great flavor and wonderful heat. One thing I really love about these sauces is how they do the wax seal. That is beautiful. And that's the real deal there. They, I mean, you can tell it's nice. I'm going to be, I'm going to be opening it. But that being said, all right, let's talk about this. Dawson's hot sauce, cedar smoked garlic. Uh, the crew at Dawson's hot sauce has contributed some of the most flavorful uh, sauces in Hot Ones history, and now they're back with a masterpiece of smoky, woodsy, peppery flavor, with a hint of savory garlic. This smoke number is all you need for topping. Roasted salmon, pork roast, pork roast, warm winter stews, and even a bagel with schmear. Habaneros makes it pretty hot for a number two sauce. Watch out now. So this is number two sauce in the season lineup. All right. So we're going to give this a go. Get my spoon ready. Um, yeah, I, I'm excited about these sauces, actually, because I've probably got about 50 sauces in my fridge right now, but... I haven't tried anything new in a while, so let's uh, let's get this going here. Yeah, let's see. That's the real deal wax stuff. I, I love that. I always thought it was cool how they do. Let's uh, undo the uh, seal um, scrolls and what have you. I wonder if yeah, I can keep that top part good. All right, shake it a little bit more. Okay. Let's see what we're working. Oh, ingredients. Yeah, let's have ingredients. Uh, vinegar. Um, wait, that's it's in English and in uh, French here. Uh, white wine vinegar, habanero, garlic onion, extra virgin olive oil, sea salt, and sumac. Sumac. Not poison sumac, I hope. Uh, smells garlicky. Looks to be a medium to thick body. Oh, yeah, medium body sauce. I can see garlic in there. Looks pretty. It's kind of an orange, dark orange with little flakes of stuff in there. All right, let's give it a go. Starfish of fire. Oh, wow. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> this is good. Wow. Okay. This is interesting. I'm trying to look at this again. It's the, I don't know if that sumac is bringing something special to the table or not. It's hard to pick it out, but I'll tell you this much. This is a wonderful sauce. Mmm. Savory. Smoky. The mouthfeel, the texture. I think with that all that all oil is it olive extra yeah virgin olive oil mmm and it's got a little bite to it yeah I mean it does have some heat we got a little bit more of that and I can definitely use this on a smoked salmon it's got to have something to do with that sumac I mean the onion the garlic it's all there the smokiness the habanero, the bite of the habanero. Just slight. When I put the heat at about a two, you know, this is gonna be perfect heat for a non-chili head to experience something and not get you know blown away and be like put off by it. But the flavor is just incredible. Yeah, I, I've been um, very impressed with this company. Been around since 2013. That's gonna be going and doing some cooking with that for sure. Right now, this next one I'm, I'm intrigued because I've gotten several of their 
products before, and this label is very unique. This is an angry goat called Phoenix. It's really beautiful coloring in there. I love the color of the sauce, you know, how it goes off with the label with the kind of a purpley blue, and then you got this mustardy looking sauce. All right. Angry Goat, Vermont goat farmers turned hot sauce masterminds. Angry Goat has caught many a celebrity's eye for their whimsical labels. Uh, returning with what may be their most distinctive recipe yet, Angry Goat's Phoenix features cantaloupe and ginger. Interesting. Cantaloupe is probably my favorite fruit, I guess you'd call it, melon. Um, that and honeydew. Used to eat those every morning when I grew up in Florida. Uh, that's right, melon and hot sauce. Team Heat has been obsessed with this since we got the first sample, but will you feel the same? Yes, you will, especially once you try it on salad, shrimp, or anything with, uh, what? Prosciutto, yeah. Italian pan. Well, that sounds interesting. I am intrigued. Is that a quick release? Yes, it does. Although... We might have to use the knife anyway, because it quick release. Oh, there we go. All right. So let's look at the ingredients as they're labeled here. All right. Uh, cantaloupe, white wine vinegar, lime juice, yellow scotch bonnet mash. Love scotch bonnets. Orange blossom honey, peaches, sweet onion, olive oil, ginger root, Ah, uh -huh. dotil pepper powder, mm, seal sea salt, garlic powder. And I think this is up somewhere in the group too. I think it's number five. I'll have to go back and check, but it didn't mention it here. But I believe it's somewhere, you know, ahead, but not quite into the hot hot range. But um, let's give it a go. Oh wow, that's an interesting smell. I can smell fruitiness of the melon, but then the onion and garlic. Okay, I'm just gonna try it. That's just interesting. Okay, I like the creamy, medium body, mustard look. All right, starfish and fire. Let's see what this is all about. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. Right off the top, melon and honey just hits the tongue. Follow it up with a kick in the back of the throat with the peppers. But let me tell you, this is wonderful. Definitely on a salad. Shrimp as well. You have nice, depending on the dish. Oh my goodness. And substantial heat. Mmm. Wow. Just so interesting flavor profiles here. We're talking the cantaloupe and the honey is what hits me first. The scotch bonnet definitely coming through. But peaches and sweet onions. A little bit of the ginger root. But it's not for people that don't like ginger, you might not even notice it. It's not gonna it doesn't in any way overpower, that's for sure. But wow, 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 wow. Such good flavor, man. Holy sh... Yeah, this is good stuff. Wow. Okay. I'm over the moon with this one. Oh, and the heat. This is a step up. Um, this, I'm going to put... This is between a 3 and a 4 on my scale of 1 to 10. And just so you know, when anything over a 5 is where I start to feel uncomfortable, okay, in some fashion. And, you know, I, I'll explain that more when we get to it. This might be it here, but we're, we're going to find out. But, guys, this, guys and gals, this is wonderful. Cantaloupe melon, scotch bonnet, favorite melon, one of my favorite peppers that's not a super hot. I can eat. There's a uh, grocery store. I go to the international grocery store right here, and you can get fresh scotch bonnets a lot of times. You get habaneros too, but it's hard to find scotch bonnets fresh, and they have them. Big area, get bags of them, eat them like grapes. Wonderful. All right. Whew. Yeah, that's got some heat to it. So, yeah, that's about a three and a half, four, somewhere in there. All right, finally, this is one I've been 
looking forward to, but at the same time I'm leery because it is called Extra Green Green by Pucker Butt. And if you're all familiar, I know you most people are, that Pucker Butt is owned by Ed Curry, who created the Carolina Reaper, Pepper X, Apollo, and probably some other peppers he's been doing that he's not talking about. Oh, it hasn't even released Pepper X and uh, Apollo to, for people to grow as far as I can tell. I think he's keeping that kind of to himself for now. So, this sauce looks like a verde, right? And it's called Extra Mean Green. Um, but here's the thing. Let's have a read of it, okay? Because this is number nine on the lineup of ten. Apollo's number ten, okay? The, the last dab. This is number nine, so that should tell you right there. Let's say, here we go. Too often, when we find a new green sauce, it's a bit tame on the heat. That's true. As chilies ripen from green to their final color, their heat matures too. So folks searching for a spicy verde can run into trouble. While everyone's favorite mad pepper scientist is firing, oh, fixing that, with this ghoulishly green and downright mean stinger of a sauce. A blend of just shy of ripe green pepper X and the Apollo pepper is enough to haunt even the toughest of chili heads, but the real trick is that it tastes so good you'll be drawn back in more, for more. If you're looking to expand your heat tolerance in 2022, here's your sign. Okay, so yeah, it's going to be hot, I can already tell, and given that he's using pepper X, and, uh, and I don't know the details. I do know that Pepper X, obviously, he's crossbreeding with, with um, Carolina Reaper. I don't know what he used to crossbreed. Uh, and then Pepper X came out, and he just kept that Pepper X as a generic placeholder name, from what I understand. And so far, he hasn't changed it. But then he came out with Apollo, which is a crossbreed of Carolina Reaper and Pepper X, or something along those lines. Um, or cross-pollination, I should say crossbreed would be animals now wouldn't it but I guess it still applies all right so let's have a go oh. <laughs> okay okay this is funny I just took a nice deep inhalation of this just to get the aroma well I don't know what I was thinking because I should have looked at the ingredients first anyway but let's have a look at it because I'm, I'm oh man I'm almost 50 years old. It looks like it's pepper. Yeah. And vinegar, salt. I hate when they put it so small and I don't have readers. I can't read that all. So I'm just going to wing it. I'm pretty sure this ex experience is going to be pretty interesting. So well, let's have a go. I'm not going to do that again. This looks like to be a, a lighter thickness sauce. So I'm going to take it easy. Oh, it's a medium build. Oh, no. I got a full spoon for full here, people. So, starfish of fire. Let's give it a go. Whew. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah yeah this is a hot one good flavor though um i'm trying to think what i'm gonna have to use this on wow the, heat, the heat's building some of these peppers build and build and you think you're oh you got it no it's still building Back of the tongue, tip of the tongue, back of the throat. It's a hot one, y'all. This is a hot one. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So, heat level. Six. I'm leaning on a six. I'm just waiting to see if it goes up to a seven because let me tell you, my entire tongue now is on fire. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Oh. You know what I feel? See, when your body gets used to doing this, you will build up a tolerance. But inevitably, you're going to hit a point in your chili head career where you're going to get an, a massive endorphin dump. And what I've noticed is your body kind of remembers this in a sense. I'm not talking in any sort of magical way. I'm just I'm trying to use the proper words to describe this. But it's like, it's almost as if my brain's preparing. Are you going to eat some more of that? Because if so, we're going to get ready for an endorphin dump. I'm starting to feel a little tingly. It's like my body's preparing. Hey, there could be more danger coming because we know how you do it, right? Right. So, uh, one thing that I've been doing, and I started this week, I've got this one in particular. Well, no, not that one. Where is it? I must have moved it. I had it out. I was using it to train. I'm going to be doing a, a, a challenge this weekend. And I decided I'm, every day I'm going to be putting tincture on my tongue several times a day to kind of build up my tolerance a little bit. I can't do a lot of the eating and stuff while I'm at work, but I can do tincture. And hopefully that won't disrupt the flow of my happiness, so to speak. Um, but I found this is a good way to build up your tolerance and not by ingesting a lot of hot peppers, which is hard to find in the wintertime anyway, but the tincture is just pure burn you and uh, it'll get you going so by the time I get to the weekend and I do my challenge my body will be a little more acclimated I can get through it easier complete the challenge and hopefully not well cramps are going to be there so, uh, it just depends there's not once the cramps start there's no getting out of it you can prepare ahead of time to try to get rid of that stuff if you know what I mean and I know you do uh, but other than that once it starts, man, it's the worst. I'm still on fire up here, though, and I like that. It feels good. It's just, I've come to enjoy this burn. It's exquisite. Exquisite suffering. Ah, I love it. This is a good sauce, and it's good to show your friends. Say, hey, you want to try something really hot? This is it right here. I'm still lit. So, yeah, that's that's a that's a 6-7 pushing up. 6 to seven definitely and good flavor all right guys well i will be doing another video soon i don't know i know i'm going to be getting my february sauces any day now so i could be doing those this uh, weekend i said i'm going to do a challenge i haven't decided which one i'm going to do yet i've got that shot of rum that's been sitting in carolina reapers for three or four months i've got the uh, sunflower seed one solar flare kind of like a the bag of seeds and each one gets hotter that would be Blazing Foods and Johnny Scoville's idea um, at that point though I don't know I'm going to definitely be doing some more sauce videos and I need to get some more sauces going anyway so these are wonderful sauces I hope everyone gets a chance to go out and try them and especially these for cooking great this, I have to come up with an idea that I can use it for. I've got a couple ideas, but it's going to have to be tapered to just the right amount to use, like in a cream sauce. But it can't be overwrought. Even for me, I mean, I wanted to make it so it doesn't destroy flavor. It has to be blended properly so you can get a nice experience. Um, all right, y'all. Well, this is Starfish and Fire. Hope you get to see me again soon. And I'm out. <laughs>